This is a demonstration to show the ease of access and use of the Hexagon imagery program. So what I would like to do is uh, use that imagery to update uh, a vector layer of building footprints I have that are currently shown here over um, a digital globe uh, worldview three image. Uh, but I do need a little bit more spatial resolution uh, than is made available through that data. So we're going to go ahead and clear this from the view. And bring up the Hexagon Imagery Content Program. Accessing the uh, Hexagon Imagery Program is very straightforward. Just go to Base Map, click on Hexagon Content. This will give you a dialogue in which to enter your credentials for the particular services that you have uh, purchased. Click OK. And the content that I have purchased is added to the display. So we can very quickly uh, zoom in on the location in the United States of the uh, vectors that we want to update. Go ahead, continue zooming, see the spatial resolution that is provided by the Hexagon Imagery Program. We can also uh, pan. Also pan around the imagery. All this information is being served from the Hexagon Imagery Program uh, server over the internet to my client software, Erdas Imagine. So we'll go stop there, I'll zoom back out a little and display our vector information over the top. Now, as we roam around over the Hexagon Imagery Program content, we can see where there are uh, areas missing or requiring update in our vector coverage layer. Go ahead and zoom in. And now we can go ahead and start to edit the existing vector layers to add missing features. Uh, to do help with that, we can display other hexagon image program content, such as the color infrared product, rather than using natural color, helps us uh, differentiate uh, man-made features from uh, vegetation. Select our vectors. Enable editing, we can remove existing polygons if they're incorrect. Of course, we can go ahead and start to add the footprints of new buildings. One. Two, and so on. So in that manner, we can continue to use the Hexagon Imagery Program content to help us understand our information. We can also use the Hexagon Imagery Program um, to help with assisted digitizing. So I'm going to create a uh, roads layer already displayed that I want to capture mis missing roads into as well. Now for that, we're going to use the Easy Trace product. Turn on easy tracing by center line. Add a new vector, provide a template to use, and then simply with two clicks, we have a road captured from the Hexagon Imagery Program content. Continue to editing by reusing the template and add more lines.